Nottingham, once the heart of English lace-making. As the industry declines across Europe, one family firm is on the edge of survival. Well, lace has been made in this area since the early part of the 19th century. And is Nottingham still the centre now? Most certainly. What's the state of the lace industry? Oh, it's a very healthy industry. We've been making lace for up to nine generations. We can trace our roots back to the stocking frame manufacturing days. We're the last ones left in the UK. The styles we specialise in, we've been the last ones for maybe 15 years. Besides being quite lonely at times, you can't be emotional about it, unfortunately, <laughs> because everything comes down to business and money these days, and you can't fight the world trend sometimes. Charles Mason inherited the family firm, Clooney Lace. Only a few lace-making companies survive in Europe. Charles has had to confront technological change, globalisation and recession. Clooney defied conventional wisdom and sold off their modern equipment. It was an incredible gamble. Yes, it was a risk, a very great risk, but we had no option. If we had kept that rational plant, I don't think the levers would have been here today. To think that the most modern side of the industry went before the most archaic side of the industry is unbelievable. Clooney Lace looked to the past to secure their future. With their antique levers machines, they had a niche brand in a globalised high-tech world. Their highly skilled workforce rely on processes unchanged in over a century. Despite a shrinking market, Clooney's heritage lace is still in demand among top designers. True Nottingham lace, even if those who wear it don't always realise it. It's always good seeing our lace in the fashion magazines. It's, yeah, that's quite a good feeling, actually. And knowing that it's been made in Ilkeston, of all places, which probably none of the models wearing it and, the, and some of the designers or whatever have probably even heard of. The main buyers are the Haute Couture houses, Dolce Gabbana in Italy, for example, Etro in Italy, Christian Dior, France. So what is Clooney's secret? The main secret is not, which isn't secret, is this what we make happens to be pretty good and it's, uh, it's a distillation of a lot of what the UK lace trade did over a large period of time and we have a lot of the, some of the best patterns they ever made, basically. On top of that, we don't borrow anything from the bank. Quality should rise above. And, and I'd hope, well, always hope, that the stuff they make here, which is quality, will, will yeah, keep its head above water. I hope so, but who knows, you know.